I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, October the 27th. And we got a lot to talk about, so let's get right to it. Wanted to show quickly the temperature trace for my temperature station yesterday. And indeed, uh, we certainly see a nice sine wave pattern there. But uh, also notice how it's flattened out this morning. I don't know if we're going to see much rise, but also that may have been the last 80 we see for a while. Coleman Skycam Network from the Alpha Skycam Network, and you can see that uh, we have a cloud deck in place, and of course that cloud deck visible uh, over the Tom Bigby waterway at Demopolis. So look for a mostly cloudy sky today. And thanks to the cold front that's moving through the area, we're going to have a nice stiff north wind with some gusts to go with that, so it's going to be a bit breezy today. We're also watching Sandy off the east coast of Florida. Fortunately, much of the precipitation is away from the coast. Uh, but still having some impact there. But Sandy moving off to the northeast and likely to make a left turn. We'll talk about that in just a minute. There's the upper air pattern. Of course, Sandy stands out as uh, being one of the focuses. In addition to that, of course, we've got this trough that's bringing much colder air into the central part of the country. Much colder. And last weekend, we were dealing with a few spots of 32. This weekend, wow, look at the area covered by uh, below 32, and some of those are down around 20, and a few even in the teens. No teens around here, fortunately, but we are uh, expecting to see very little temperature change today. Uh, we may come up a few degrees, but uh, probably already had our high for the day uh, around midnight. Lots of warnings out in the Atlantic for the wind associated with Sandy. In addition to that, along the Coastline from about, uh, oh, Virginia coastline all the way up to uh, New York. We have uh, flash flood watches and coastal flood watches. The green area you see in West Virginia is a winter storm watch. And then the cyan and dark blue you see from Texas up into Illinois, that is for freezing conditions. QPF tells the story for us. No rain expected for our next five days. But, of course, in uh, the effects of Sandy, some of that just offshore, 10 to 12 inches. And, of course, Sandy will be sticking around past the end of this forecast. So expect uh, a lot of wet weather up in the northeastern U.S. There's a look at our graphic for the tropics, and you can see Sandy uh, pulling off to the northeast. There's the official Hurricane Center's uh, track. And, indeed, uh, the only update is it is... Again, a hurricane this morning, according to the hurricane hunters. Computer models in pretty good agreement. So we're, we're looking at a pretty nice uh, clustering. Of course, the exact position of where Sandy comes ashore will determine who gets the worst of it. But right now, it looks like, especially from about Baltimore to the north and northeast up towards New York and uh, Providence, Rhode Island, that area likely to experience a lot of serious problems. And of course... As Sandy comes ashore, it's going to have impacts on air travel with a lot of delays and maybe uh, you know some uh, cancellations. All right, here's the 06 EGFS model run, and there's our trough for tomorrow and Sandy moving up uh, past the Virginia coast as it's beginning to get to the point where it'll make a left turn. And there's the surface map, and you can see the colder air, 540 line coming all the way down to about uh, northern uh, western Tennessee. By Monday, Sandy has made that left turn and is aiming at the coastline. And Tuesday, Sandy comes ashore. And, of course, uh, models um, determining uh, exactly where it will be. But, of course, we know we got to wait and see exactly where Sandy comes ashore. But, again, from about Baltimore up to New York, looks like they're going to experience the brunt of the storm surge and, of course, lots of rain and the possibility of snow in the Appalachians. Now, Sandy sticks around on Wednesday. Moving very slowly, it's now uh, into extreme western New York and northwestern uh, Pennsylvania. And even on um, Thursday, Sandy still not moving a great deal, causing a lot of rain and, and um, precipitation all the way from uh, Virginia and West Virginia all the way up into New England. So it's going to be sticking around a while. By Friday, we're coming more under a ridge, so look for a warming trend towards the latter part of the week. And there goes Sandy up into the Canadian Maritimes. And, of course, finally beginning to... Uh, release its hold on the weather across the northeastern U.S. By Saturday, things are calming down a little bit. The westerly is receding to the north just a bit, but we're watching the next system across the northern Rockies. That one not going to affect us, but Saturday should be a very nice day, dry as we see a warming trend. As we look out into voodoo country, it looks like another shot at some rain around the 5th, and then another shot perhaps around the 10th as we see a uh, a fairly um, northward progression to the westerlies, and we should stay relatively mild if this voodoo country is correct.
Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Sorry for the issues related to the audio. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but hopefully you got it corrected. In the meantime, I hope your day is a good one and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.